what's going on, beautiful people. Going back to another one of retro streams. Uh, well, not really a stream, but you know, one of my tutorials. Uh, basically, I do it on my stream setup, just like I would anything else. Um, we're gonna go over and continue the basic city building, and uh, we're gonna go over some couple little tips and tricks today on how I think we can improve this city. So sit back, relax, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do before we get into the city building is I'm actually going to uh, turn off these uh, overlays. That way you guys can, I should have done that first. Uh, that way you guys can see the city. So this is what we left off with last time. So what we're going to do is... Uh, we're just going to try to see what we can do to upgrade it, make it more uh, appeasable. And we're probably going to expand our industrial. Uh, I know for sure we're going to start getting into a little bit of mass transit, get some buses and stuff like that going through here. Uh, just kind of get everything, you know, going as far as a basic city building. And, uh, I think what we're going to start off with is we're going to start off with these buses. Uh, Biofuel Bus Depot is a uh, city, uh, Green City's DLC. Um, again, we're going for basic, so we're just going to go with a regular bus depot. Um, I would suggest going with that if you, the other, if you have it, the uh, biofuel one, because it is a little bit cleaner and uh, whatnot on the city. Now we're just going to build us a. Uh, now we're just going to build us a nice little route if you guys don't know how to do a route or a route you literally just click this little tab here and uh yeah you just build on it from there now one thing i can say guys is um definitely don't want to make huge loops with this you definitely want to make try to make as small of uh loops as you can Otherwise, your bus stops are going to be jam-packed. For example, we went there. And we're going to come down here. One stop there. We're going to add one stop in here. The neighborhood. Get that. We're going to add a stop here. We're going to add a stop... Probably about here. Add another one here. And we're gonna come right back around here. We'll add one there too. And right there. So that's plenty of stops. Uh, no, we didn't get to touch on this street, but I think that should be okay. And we're just gonna complete that. Now, one thing I personally like to do because <clears throat> I always like to change the colors of my uh, lines because every line you make is going to be this color. So if you want to go with blue for buses, just make sure you change the shade of blue. makes it easier to uh, see. So let's go residential. give us a few buses out and about it should make people much happier um, you don't want to have too many vehicles people will start complaining about having too many vehicles now let's go back to lines overview and just check on it real quick click this there's going to be 15 vehicles we're going to have 15 buses running throughout the city that may or may not be enough that may be too many out here in just a second. With the size of city that we have, with it not being very big, we might have to cut it down to like eight.
gas station. These buses are already coming back before these are gone, which means it's going to cause a traffic issue. So we are going to click here like so, click that, click the little, uh, uh, not hourglass, but um, magnifying glass, I'm sorry. And we're actually going to cut that probably down to about nine-ish nine vehicles. I'm going to just go with nine. Let's see how well these bus stops are holding up. That's another thing you got to keep an eye on, guys. You don't want these bus stops to become overcrowded with people, as they can become overcrowded with people. opportunity if you guys uh, have a perimeter and you're trying to do basic building um, I would use roads for the bus lines if you could I think that's part of the ma mass transit DLC though so you gotta make sure you have that first hand but as you guys can see traffic is flowing just fine not a big deal here all right that bus stops looking all right I thought I had put a bus stop in the middle but I guess not Here is looking all right, not too bad, not too bad. Something else people will really appreciate in your city, and you may or may not lose people for this, but walking paths. People really, really like walking paths, especially if they're nicely decorated like so. So, and I'm going to lose a couple of houses here, but it's going to be okay in the long term, you'll see that. To take this, bring it like that, like that. And we're going to unzone B. Now people should start using this path, yeah. A lot of people using the paths, which is good. Something else that we could even do. We could even, if we really wanted to, we don't have to. I'm gonna do that. We're gonna use the page up, if you guys don't know. Use the uh, the page up to uh, really use that up and down tool like that escalation tool. That looks even enough. Do that. I'm straight down. Now again, we're just gonna design this where they don't build on top. And uh, yeah, see, like that's why you always dezone at the end of it. You don't want some crap like that. Probably. Now people have a safe way to cross the street, which they will also super appreciate. I've learned. I've learned over time. But as you guys can see, people are screaming for industry right now. Let's see what this new building is. Oh, boots and fairies. Um, something that a lot of people don't realize that you absolutely need in a scenario like this is a cemetery of some sort or graveyard. I'm actually just going to throw that up 
right there. And then we also should probably have an elder care system like that, and then a child care system. Like so. Now, with people screaming for industry, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put or push industry back to this corner. So that way it's secluded from everything. I'm going to line the edges of my zones up like that. I'm going to try to come as straight as I can down. Same with this direction. Come as far as I can straight down. Like so. All right. Now I'm going to take this. Oh, I don't have enough money. Do I have? I only got four grand. Okay. After that, though, fifteen six. Now, we can literally take this and slide it down there to the 4720. Boom, there we go. And this right here will become industrial. You guys will see why I did that here in just a little bit. First things first, we gotta get some roads put in here. My number one suggestion would be not to put a road. Like most people do, they'll put a road here. That's not a good idea because uh, traffic will build up pretty uh, heavy right there. So that's probably not the best idea. a couple of access points here like that we people can get out of there really want to build one here but that's kind of close to the intersection so I'm not going Now, 
Now, like I've always said, you want to keep people happy. So what you're going to want to do, and actually let's pause this real quick. Let's throw in a plaza. Uh, just because people over here are going to want it. So all we really have the money for at the moment. There we go. Now all these guys are disconnected from the power grid. So we're going to do something as simple as this. like that all right cool so now that that's good we can we're gonna move this industrial zone we're actually going to as you guys guessed yes we're gonna have to redo our bus lines and I know and it sucks it does I know but one of those things so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this area in here and we're gonna make this commercial Commercial and office zoning. Wait on no, that six six thousand. this right here on one of these access points that way mm, a majority of it will light up green there we go now it doesn't have power yet but we'll get there in time we shall get there actually let's go ahead and zone this right here to be uh commercial Okay, I was going to say, if that doesn't connect, there's a problem. Because that should have connected. Which it did. Which it did. Now, let's go ahead and throw in a couple of more landfills right here. Now, what we can do is we can go ahead and empty this one. Because once this one is empty, which is going to be a minute before that is. Once that's empty, we can take that and delete it. And we can just use these two landfills. And then we'll start mapping out the new commercial zone. If you guys don't know, the DLC for uh, industries comes with warehouses and very specific uh, industries for uh, different areas for natural resources and whatnot. It comes with specialty factories and industry roads and all kinds of cool stuff. And we'll get into that at the end of the video as I close it out. What DLCs are actually worth it, in my opinion. Um, which three I would go for straight off the bat. Right off the bat. Alright, now that I got a little bit of change, go ahead and start mapping this thing out. So because it is going to be commercial, there's going to be some heavy flowing traffic in here. So we're going to want to put in a pretty hefty road, just like so. And now I would just put in a street like 
that. Like that. Let's say slope too steep. There's not even a slope there. There's there. Well, there goes my plans. Literally just that little piece right there. Alright, so I am going to actually just level this out. Ooh. Did not mean to do that one. up on this real quick. Now, go ahead. Slope too steep. What do you mean slope is too steep? I don't see no sleep stope. We're actually going to take this and slide that right there for right now. Like I said, relocate. Don't ever destroy anything unless you absolutely have to. Uh, we're just going to put this here like so. I don't like the way that looks. It's crooked. So, we're just going to connect that, and we're going to connect it down to here, that way that intersection's not that close. That way there's no traffic right there. Ah, that's a massive hole. You know what, it's okay, it doesn't matter. Not at all. So like I said guys, don't overzone, we're just going to zone this side right here. Hello, kitty. Hi. Sorry, she wants loves. Don't get on my desktop. No, ma'am. Oh, they need water. There's no water right here. My fault, guys. I need to apologize. Go ahead and do that. Bring out a pipe or two right here. No, ma'am. Go. Thank you. Alright, so people are screaming for residential. We need more residents. We need more residents. turbines which I believe are part of the standard game could be wrong and what we're going to do is we are actually going to fire out now what we're going to do is I'm actually going to delete some of this spyro no no No. No. DJ. 
jump up on my desktop anyway. Oh, come here, kitty. There we go. Alright, sorry guys. Alright, where were we? We're deleting these. These advanced wind turbines, turbines are more efficient anyways. money to take out a loan I'm going to yeah we can take out that $21,000 loan and I can go ahead and get a couple of more turbines which will do us just fine yeah I would really like one more I like to keep my electricity up as much as possible. Let's see what we have on budget. It's all the way up. We actually need a couple of more wind turbines, but this will be fine for right now. So This is costing us monthly to have. Um, let's see, we did that. Yeah, there we go. It's like 20 cents a month, so I just saved a couple of dollars a month. All right, so what we're gonna do now we're just going to extend this little neighborhood. I'm going to extend this avenue down. Uh, before we do that, we're going to do some more advanced stuff <coughs> real quick. Um, we need to move that drainage pipe. So let's not get rid of it. Let's just move it down. That way... Um, it's not affecting that land value. So that's connected there. Now let's go ahead and throw up a wind turbine right here. The basic one to get that going. And now we can delete this. We're still looking good down here in profit, guys. We're gonna go over here to this water solution. We're gonna put it on freeform. If you put it on freeform, guys, it will auto-adjust the ground. Watch. Boom. There it is. Put this down as far as we can. Like that. There we go. Now we got some more valuable waterfront property, which will be nice. section pretty close to that one what we're probably gonna have to do is we're probably gonna have to get rid of this probably gonna continue construction here like that then we're going to after that's done and like so Good ways to do this, is there? I'm just gonna make this like so. I'm actually, gonna throw this back on the street roads. Like that. Looks great. Now, what we want is we want. 
avenue start somewhere in the middle. intersections right here together and that's not what you want trust me we are actually going to break it off right here like that and back to this like so there we go we're just going to match it at this point Make sure these people got water. Like that. Boom, and then we're gonna extend this last one down. A little bit further. There we go. Actually, to be honest. I'm going to stop it right there. There we go. I'm going to stop that right there, guys. We got more demand for commercial. So we're going to go ahead and fill this up with commercial. Not really a high demand for industry at the moment. We're just going to work on slowly filling that in now. However, people are screaming for residential. So. There we go. Got some neighborhoods going there. What's the medical looking like? People over here need something. Put that right there. They also need fire department. Okay. So we got one police station going for everything. So what we're going to have to do is build another one. Probably over here as well. It's going to be 12,000. So while we're letting that build up and save, we're going to come over here. And you guys have noticed this right here is full. Um, this one right here is at 23 capacity. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to empty that one off into here. Now, if you have the Industries DLC, you can get a recycling center that can replace these and can uh, get rid of, like completely dispose. But um, as of right now, we're just going to throw a little $4,000 landfill right there just for in cases, in case. Um, and you notice it didn't really hurt our budget too bad as we're almost $3,500, or we are $3,500 profitable uh, daily. So let's go ahead and get this police station up as soon as we hit that 12k as we're almost there. I should turn most of these roads green. Yeah. Schools. They have no schools in this area. So 
he should probably put in uh, at least an elementary school and a high school and a library. in a prior video but we want to delete as much of these as possible not all of them necessarily but definitely a majority of them because the ones you don't delete people will remodel and rebuild on top of them, so just get a majority of them out of the way tells us that we need a police station for up here. Throw that right there. Crime rate should go down. Alright. Bus stops. Here we go. Let's actually rework this bus route. So we're going to go here. We're going to hit this little X. We're going to create two bus routes. Um, the first one is going to be... Uh, we're going to base them both base them both out of right here. Uh, so we're going to create a line there. And we're just going to, you know, simply go around like we did before. Add a stop there. Um, stop there. Simply put one right there and right there. Oh, put one down here too. All right, there we go. There's that line. Now what we're going to do is, like I've said before, we're just going to change this color. Uh, we're going to keep that name bus line one. One thing you don't want to do is you don't want to overlap bus lines or bus stops. So we're going to add a secondary stop there and we're going to make it come this direction. So there. Oh no. I don't want that one. I'm going to create a new line right there. There we go. That's better. And we're just going to come here, drop it there. Drop one right there. Gonna drop another one here. Down here. Mm. There. You also don't want to put bus stops by. Uh, do not want to put bus stops by uh, intersections because it will cause traffic. We're just gonna take this and run it down this way. Ah! I don't want that. There we go, like that. There we go. Go ahead and add one right here as well, just for them. And then we're just gonna bring this over here. Right there. said from the beginning change the color we well, you know boom there it is 
so now we just need to double check real quick make sure our bus stops aren't being overran by people which this one is <laughs> this is what I was talking about you do not want to do and that's from lines being too large um, exactly what that's from is lines being way too large We're gonna have to put in a different type of mass transit as soon as we get it. I think we're gonna put in a metro right there. Or right here. Alright, so what we can go ahead and do. Well, hello kitty again. We're gonna move this plaza over there. And we're gonna move this one over here. As these people don't have any really. So we're gonna put that right there. Well, hi. My well, mic. Sorry guys. <laughs> This is going to be a rather long video, but I think it's going to be a very helpful video. Um, try not to keep it too long, though. Alright, so we added a whole new district. Um, a whole new area. So we're going to go ahead and paint this as a district. Call this District 2. Actually, we're going to do District 1 and 2. Let's do that. Let's rename that. District 2. And let's rename this one because I misspelled precinct horribly. Ah. Okay, there we go. District 1. Sounds good to me. Alright, so that should help tremendously with buses. This one's overran. Uh, that one's not quite overran. That one's overran. Horrible. This one's not so bad anymore. Anymore. Jeez. Not even putting a dent in it. Alright, so yeah, there's that. Buses are done. Uh, we added a second district. We moved our industrial up a little bit further north if you're looking at it this direction. Uh, as well as added a commercial district, which we haven't really zoned a whole lot of. Let's go ahead and zone some of this. Like that. Ah! That's not good. Definitely don't want that. Definitely don't want that. Like I said, guys, don't overzone either. Do not overzone. Get rid of that. And we're going to get rid of that one. That way people can walk. Now what we need to do real quick before we hop off this video is we need to add a walking path. Um, from... Mm, we'll go right there. We'll go up. Like that. Even though it's not straight and I don't like it. We're gonna redo that. There we go, that's better. Now people can walk up there and wait on the bus or you know whatever they need to do. going to conclude the video for today. Uh, we have some housing. More people wanting housing. So what we're going to do... Yeah, we got water right there. Before we hop off here, guys, we are just going to zone some of this valuable uh, waterfront property. Now that that pollution's gone. If you don't, that will make people sick. Makes it less valuable too. We're just going to do that right there. coming up nicely here in just a second. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Doing good on the city, guys. Doing very good. 
people are still having an issue getting to work. Now this landfill's full. And this one is empty, so we'll stop that. Start that. But I don't really like landfills, I like the recycling centers for the cities. Or Green Cities DLC. Because your trash never builds up like that. And you don't always have to buy landfills or incineration plants. Which incineration plants are kind of good, I guess. Look at that, guys. We just cleared a hundred grand. We just cleared a hundred grand. But do we still have this loan? We can pay that back. Let's pay back that big bastard. There we go. Alright, that landfill site is empty, so let's get rid of that one. There we go. Read up that space. So here we go, guys. We have our new industrial, which is, you know, struggling a little bit. We have our new business, we have our old district one, and we have our new district two, which is gonna come all the way out to here, come up, and then yeah, we'll start filling up the square. We will buy, Spyro stop, we will buy two more squares uh, next hand. Um, let's see here, we'll probably go down, I'm thinking. We might go, we might buy these three right here and expand to the left, yeah. I think we're gonna do that. Well, no, we don't have to do that. We'll probably go this direction still. Yeah, we'll go this direction, and then we might go up. But all right, guys. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Uh, real quick, before I get off the video, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Um, this video was brought to you by Custom Game Cases. They're to your left, my right. I will leave a link to them down in the description below. Uh, also, the three. The three that I wanted to, uh, three DLCs I wanted to touch up on is Green Cities, um, Industries, and Mass Transit. Mass Transit is wonderful for, for helping you manage your city. Um, Industries is great for making money in your city and exporting stuff. And uh, what was the other one? Green Cities is very good for making your land value go up and keeping the ecosystem green. And it's got like a bunch of recycling stuff and, uh, you know, good, good waste or better waste, not good, but better. It just has better options for things like that. It also gives you access to like, um, eco-friendly buses and a bunch of really cool stuff like that. So make sure you guys go check that out. Also, I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, so make sure you guys... Hit that link in the description. I'll drop it down there. I'll also drop a link to the Discord down there. And uh, make sure you guys go check out the Discord and join that. Um, there's a stream schedule on there. I stream... Actually, I stream Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So, I stream five nights a week. Uh, make sure you guys go check that out. And I will see you guys soon for another tutorial. We're going to continue this city until it either burns to the ground until we can't upgrade it anymore. So, alright, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.